Police in Russia say they've arrested 60 people linked to an anti-Israel riot at an airport in Dagestan on the weekend. This video posted on social media showed a mob tearing through the airport searching for Israeli passengers who were said to be arriving on a flight from Tel Aviv. Some of the riders managed to get onto the runway and surrounded aircraft. The people in this mob shouted anti-Semitic slogans. Dagestan is a mainly Muslim Russian republic. It's in the uh, North Caucasus. Briar Stewart, of course, lots of experience reporting out of Russia. She's in London this morning and the perfect voice on this. Very concerning to people watching what happened over the weekend. Tell us more about what we've learned of this rampage, Briar. Well, Heather, Russian media are reporting that as many as 1,200 people were in that crowd when it stormed onto the airport. And it took police in Russia several hours to basically regain control of the situation. In addition to those images which viewers are seeing of the crowd kind of bursting through the security barriers and onto the tarmac and eventually surrounding the plane, there are images um, of the crowd actually stopping cars, demanding to see passports. I mean, they said they were looking for people with Israeli citizenship or people who were Jewish. And so you had this go on for, for seven hours, and we understand that dozens of people were injured, including nine police officers. Two of them had to be hospitalized. And Russian authorities were uh, at the airport this morning surveying the damage, trying to see how, how soon it could reopen, because as this was going on, of course, all of the planes that were supposed to land there uh, were diverted elsewhere. And uh, we know that there are about 60 people that have been arrested and the authorities say they are they are looking to identify the others and that those who might have organized this kind of mass unrest uh, could go to, to prison for a term of up to 15 years. Obviously, people looking at this uh, were very troubled. There was quite reaction, quite strong reaction, both from within Israel and abroad. Tell us about that, Briar. Well, in terms of the, the Russian reaction to this, uh, you did have quite strong statements, um, I would say, from the, the heads of uh, the Dagestan Republic. Uh, you had the governor who said that he was ashamed uh, by the actions, and he had said that people who participated should wash away their disgrace by joining Russia's army to fight in Ukraine. And I think that's a really interesting comment, because Dagestan, which is, um, you know, a very uh, poor area compared to certainly other, other parts of Russia, um, had a large number of men that were part of that uh, forced conscription effort. Um, so you do wonder just how many in that crowd might be uh, forced to, to go fight uh, in Ukraine. There, the Kremlin is going to be um, holding a meeting about this later today. President Putin is going to be involved. So will uh, the Minister of Defense and Russian intelligence authorities. They'll be talking about what happened at the airport. And of course, we saw very strong statements from Israel, uh, who, who condemned it and really called on Russian authorities to protect Israeli citizens who are in the country and those who are Jewish. Briar Stewart from London, thank you very much.